Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the LR Meta Cooler because he is surprisingly very, very good for a free unit. And if we were to take a look back at some of the other free legendary rares, he is on par with a few of them, but like he kind of, he's in between. He's, he's right about in the middle, I want to say, of the freeze play units or freeze play LRs specifically. Pardon me, my low-key low voice crack, but we're good here still. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. Of course, leave a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you do enjoy the video. So, when we take a look at the freeze play LRs, we have the Gohan, who is, well, I suppose, te technically free to play. LR Gohan. We have LR Ginyu. We have LR Vegito Blue. LR Freezer. LR Piccolo. LR Metacooler. We have LR Goku. We have LR Hercule. So many free ones. LR Trunks. Uh, there, there is literally too many to count on my hand. Damn. Is there more free ones in... Down of pay to play ones? There could potentially be. But that's a discussion for a completely a completely different video. But the point is, I was wrong. He actually isn't in the middle of that set. He is towards the top because there are surprisingly more free to play LRs than I initially thought was possible. So, going back to the cooler, he gives free key to extreme types as well as a 70% stats increase. Better leader skill than agility, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku Black. But of course, with STR Super Saiyan Rose being a thing now, it, it, it's kind of whatever, right? But if you don't have him, he is a very good replacement for the lead if you do want to run that particular setup. If I'm not mistaken, this is equivalent to the Merge and Marcy percentage increases, but he gives more keys. So he's when it comes to the lead, let's go, he is basically an improved version of Merge and Marcy. Of course, he has a 12 key attack as well as the 18 key attack. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of... Give my ranking on where I believe he is when it comes to the top tier freeze play LRs in the game. And I think I will eventually make a video going over all of them and then just go from there. So, 12 key, colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. 18 key causes mega colossal damage to enemy and raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for one turn. So... Kind of similar to Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black because he also has a mechanic where he gives an attack increase to villain types for a single turn. But of course, Mega Colossal Damage is just natural for LRs now. And I'm like, like Margin Vegeta, what, what did they do to my boy? Like, they, they could have... I think he's still the only unit right now or the only LR that has the 12 key for Mega Colossal they swap that over, his damage would be absolutely mad. His damage is great now, of course, but that little push, just that little swap would make such a big difference. But carrying on with the card, raises attack and defense by up to 90%. The more health remaining, the greater stat boost. High chance to launch up to two additional attacks, each of which has a rare chance to become a super attack. So that chance is around... I, I, I want to say that that rare chance is a 10 to 30% chance. The 30 may be a bit generous, but I think it's 10% at the very least. So technically, he can get four attacks in. Four super attacks even. You have the additional one. You have the two additional, which do have a chance to become a super attack. And then you have the fourth one, which of course comes from the potential system. Strongest clan in space. Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, Auto Regeneration, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, and Legendary Power. And yo, yo, I just thought of a video idea. Holy damn. Okay, I'm excited for that one. So, Strongest Clan in Space, of course, the two key, Fear and Faith, two key, Big Bad Bosses, 25% attack and defense, Auto Regeneration's kind of there, Shocking Speed. Nightmare another 10% and legendary power. Great combination of key and attack key and attack links. Well yeah, that actually does make sense. Key and attack links. Got a bit confused with fighters there. Or legends. He is part of the resurrected resurrected warriors as well as the movie bosses category. His 12 key multiply is 150%. His 24 key multiply is 200%. Maximum super attack level is 20%. 
which increases the super attack multiplier by an additional 30%. The passive skill clarification. The higher the health at the start of the turn, the higher the health or the higher the attack and defensive boost. For example, if your health is at half, they will gain attack and defense 45%, which is half of the max 90% that they gain at full health. If health is at 10%, the boost is 10% of 90, which means 9%, of course. In other words, just multiply the approximate number of remaining health bars subdivisions by 9% and you'll know what their attack and defensive boost is. For example, if there are about 6.5 subdivisions left in the health bar, of course, the boost would be between 54 and 63%. Note the health bar is divided into 10 equal parts, which means that by counting the subdivisions, you can quickly get an idea of how much health or how much percentage of health you have left since each of the marks increments of the total each of them marks 10% increments of the total health left. Okay, that kind of confused me for a moment, but we're still good. We're still good. Any damage received during the turn won't affect their passive skill, only the amount as anyway, at the start of the turn. Of course, this, this, like, this is mostly for passives. When it comes to certain links like big bad bosses, that's something that can activate mid-turn. So the max attack and defensive increase is 90%, but the stats will be higher at 80% health if big bad bosses was alive, uh, was alive, is active. What, was alive? What we're trying to say there? It, I, I don't even know where I'm going with that. Okay, so uh, did I re, I don't know, I'm shook. So, but the status will be higher at 80% if Big Bad Bosses is active, not alive. I don't know why I instantly went to that. So you can buy them two times for 150,000 of the currency, Battlefield Jewels, I believe they're called, in the Battlefield shop. So you can buy two, you can get a dupe in there. 150,000, damn. I wonder how hard that actually is to obtain. But what this tells us is that you, do you want to be activating big bad bosses because of course their stats will be higher so a an optimal situation is going to be you're at full health at the start of the turn and you're taking on a boss of a type you know where you have a type disadvantage ew, speak disadvantage with the cooler right and then once you go below that 80 percent restriction it activates big bad bosses and if you have someone in play like Kid Buu, who gives a monstrous 50% attack, that is a crazy, crazy high amount of potential increases there. So the cooler is cool. Oh, I can't believe I made that joke. It, I unintentionally made that joke, but he fits very well in the majority of his categories. Of course, Resurrected Warriors, I feel, is going to be way more common. And he is most likely going to have a better partner there, uh, uh, unless it's Golden Freezer. Never mind, he has good partners on both teams, but I feel like he's going to shine more on that Resurrected Warriors team. And to kind of just go back to what I was saying before, wait, so how? I don't think it's that, is it that hard to obtain? Oh, I had to sneeze there, pardon me. So, the cooler costs 150,000. Again, you're 120,000. I don't think it's that hard to obtain it then. From what I have heard, the Moyo just gives crystals away like it's nothing. So I am glad that they are giving away free LRs of this caliber. I would say he's better than the Ginyu. But going back to what I was saying before about which one is the best. Well, not, not like necessarily the best, but amongst the best. He is definitely up there. So I'm actually going to quickly give him a count. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There is exactly 12. Freeze play legendary rares. Okay, so if we're dividing it into thirds, of course, that's, um, yeah, 12. 4, 8, 12. So he is in the top four for sure. I think, looking at this list, he may actually be second or third just at first glance i could be wrong here but i'm pretty certain i'm right second or third best free to play lr in the game now 
LR Freezer does exist, and he is a good competitor for the cooler. Cooler has the advantages of getting multiple super attacks. Honestly, I'm going to have to, obviously, I've said that like 10 times now. I'm going to have to look into it a bit more. But he could actually be better than Bajio Blue when it comes to attack. But again, Bajio Blue, that self-sufficiency though. Higher stats as well. Super Saiyan. I guess the Vegito kind of gets limited by the fact that he has like one good attack link. Warrior God's decent, but... Ugh. They gave him Fierce Battle. I think I would have given Vegito the edge, but Cooler has big bad bosses. Nightmare. A great support unit in Kid Buu as well. Tough one to beat. The Realm of Gods team. Uh, Topo is a good support unit. It does, it does have good supports in the Batara and the Realm of Gods, and of course, Future Saga category, but... It's, it's definitely a tight one. Definitely is a tight one. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, let me know in the comments what you think about the boy Cooler. Personally, I think it's pretty dope. But we will have to see how... He, I, I don't know. I've already shown him off, so he's pretty damn good.